Hi guys, today we will start AWS course and in the first lesson we will focus on Amazon S3. Give us thumb up if you like the video, subscribe our channel if you are not subscriber yet and turn on notifications so you will see all of the next lessons immediately. As I told before, in today's lessons, we will focus on creating Amazon S3 with mixing with Cloudflare and we will build together a really cheap, super, super lightning fast and very secure web hosting. It's the first lesson of the AWS course and you will be able to focus on the most important AWS services. Let's start. So, as the first step, we need to create AWS bucket. Here we will set up the name for the domain that we would like to have to make bucket visible on. You need to remember to unlock the public access so everybody will be able to access that backend. As we can see, the bucket is ready and we will need to go into the bucket and set up some stuff inside, I mean like configuration. Here we need to go to, into the permissions and create our bucket policy. I already have created, you can rewrite it from here. Just here you need to remember to have the correct other. I already typed it wrong, so I forgot about the dot. It looks like it's fine. Now we need go into the properties and set up static website hosting click use this bucket to host a website set up the page that will be used for the main page and as the 404 we will set up the index save it and actually we will need the url of the bucket We can copy it and go into the Cloudflare. Here in the Cloudflare on your domain, you need to go into the DNS and we will be adding the DNS record here. The record that we need to add, it names CNAME And here we are adding only the subdomain name, so we are not typing all of the others. If you would like to put the core domain, you are typing nothing in name and pasting it as a value. Next, you can click save. So as we can see, we have the CNAME record inside. can come back to AWS we need to move our files inside the bucket that we would like to host let's see how I did it I already created a simple website if everything is fine here we need to add the public access for that files and upload that okay it looks like we have our website inside and the next step that we would like to do 
is to delete cache. We pour cache and we can test our page now. As you can see our page works. Everything is done here. So now we can go into the performance testing so we will see how fast the Amazon can host it. Of course it's a small page so if we have the small page it will be faster than for example big bundle or the direct return code but anyway you will be able to see how fast it can host the website. We have no www here because we have not dedicated certificate with Cloudflare plan you can use www uh, if you have not subdomain if you have subdomain you need to pay for that as you can see 99 score or 100 on desktop I would say it's great score about the performance especially if we take the new performance metrics that Google introduced that in May. Here, as you can see, we have SSL certificate provided by Cloudflare. I will show you in a moment how you can take it for free. In our Cloudflare, we need to go to SSL and here you need to make sure you always use HTTPS, it's on. Congratulations! Now you know how to use AWS S3 with Cloudflare and build a cheap, secure and super fast hosting for static web pages. I really recommend you to use this combination for hosting your static pages because it's not only cheap and uh, secure, but it's easy to use and it's super scalable. So if you will have much bigger traffic, you will just be able to pay more like nothing else you don't need to reconfigure it or nothing like that and with mix of cloudflare you have free cdn it's super good as well so your data it's everywhere on the world and all locations can get quick access actually what i would like to tell you as well it's to follow us for the next lessons so in the next episodes we will focus on the most important aws amazon web service services we will talk about stuff like easy to manage database amplify lambda and maybe we can go even with any machine learning services if we will need i will show you all of that how you can create a really good and a really reliable IT architecture for your projects. We will talk which architecture you can use for small projects and which architecture will be much better for the bigger or maybe even huge project. So give us thumb up, subscribe our channel if you are new in the here and turn on notifications so you will see next videos almost immediately. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.